Hello friends. Today we are going to start with our next topic related to the subject high voltage engineering that is breakdown in liquid and solid dielectrics. Let us begin with the introduction to this liquid and solid dielectrics. First, let us understand what is liquid dielectrics. See, there are certain inherent properties due to which these two dielectrics are selected. All of you know what is mean by a dielectric. Dielectric is basically the insulating medium which is used in case of electrical devices for the insulation purpose. So liquid dielectrics is one of the medium like gases is preferred for insulation from the shock or from the leakage of the current. But liquid dielectrics can help pull in other properties also. So therefore, liquid dielectrics is more preferable than the solid or gases. The properties are generally mentioned as the liquids and solids are more denser than the gases and it is almost 1000 times of the gases. Denser means where that liquid can flow and can cover the area in the material, in the insulating material. This can feel even the complete volume that is to be insulated. Like if I feel the liquid in a square box that covers maximum volume as compared to the gas. This liquid dissipates more heat by convection. The convection method in case of liquid is more useful as compared to the solid and the gases. Oil is almost 10 times more efficient than the air and the nitrogen in case of the heat transfer capability. According to Paschen's law, the dielectric strength, it is of the order of 10 to the power 7 volt per centimeter. And the dielectric strength in liquids, it is expected to be 10 mega volt per centimeter as per Paschen's law. But in this case, we get as 100 kilo volt per centimeter. This liquid can be used in case of cables and capacitors as a impregnants. It can act as a heat transfer elements for the transformers and that can quench the arc is as a medium in circuit breakers. There are different oils used, mainly a transformer oil which is used in the transformer. So that is a petroleum oil but it is named as a transformer oil. There are synthetic hydrocarbons, halogenated hydrocarbons, which have certain applications. For very high applications, like silicon oils or even the fluorinated hydrocarbons, that also can be used. In recent years, we can have the vegetable oils or esters that also can be tried. However, it may be mentioned that some of the isomers of polychlorinated diphenyls, that is ascrils, have been found to be very toxic and poisonous. And therefore, they are being stopped using. Liquid dielectrics normally are the mixtures of hydrocarbons and are weakly polarized. Whatever the oil we have used, that must be free from moisture, products of oxidation and other contaminants. Otherwise, that fails or that particular oil fails to have that insulating property because whatever the moisture contents produced or available with the oxidation or some other contaminants, that may convert that insulating property into the dielectric property. So the chances of occurrence of the breakdown 
in the oil get more even the presence of a small amount of water say 0.01% in the oil let us say transformer oil that can reduce the electrical strength by 20% so therefore there is need to pass through there is need to pass that oil through different processes so that the oil can be used as a moisture free oxidation free with all other contaminants free after liquid let us understand solid dielectrics the solid dielectric materials are used in all kinds of electrical circuits and devices the purpose is to insulate one part of that device with the other life part so that we can prevent from the short circuit a good dielectric has certain properties like low dielectric loss high strength and that must be free from the gases moisture and thermal and chemical that is the other contaminants which are not to be there because that reduces the properties and that may get into the thermal and chemical deterioration solid dielectrics have a higher breakdown strength compared to liquids and gases at the disadvantage of that as when the breakdown occurs solids get permanently damaged and while gases fully and liquids partly recover their dielectric strength so it is always better to prefer either the liquid or the gases and then the solid dielectrics as a insulating and heat transfer element so that's all with this introduction let us talk on the next topic in next lecture thank you